And everything that you do Yet it was car yellow I came along I wrote a song for you And everything that you do And it was car yellow So then I took my heart down. Oh, what a thing you have done. Your name was Kyle. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. Beautiful, you know, you know I love you so. You know I love you so. Jumped across, I swam across for you. Oh, what a thing to do! And you were all yellow. I drew a line, I drew a line for you. Oh, what a thing to do! And you were all yellow Your skin Oh yeah, your skin and bones Turn in To something beautiful You know For you I bleed myself dry for you I bleed myself for the couple to tailor the ceremony to suit their own particular requirements. And whilst we have no readings uh, today, we do have a statement of what marriage is and some additional promises that the couple have written for each other. Having read them yesterday, I think we might just have the per perfect couple. <laughs> As uh, When you listen to the words, you'll understand that uh, they're pretty much the same, they very much mirror one another, so I think we'll put to you. But you still have to say two very important sets of words. First set where you say, say to everyone here that you enter into <coughs> this marriage freely and willingly. And a second, second set of words that you say to one another that form your legal contract. The words themselves are fairly simple. But they are, however, a public pledge of the love and commitment that Emma and Colin make with one another today. And if those words are spoken with truth and sincerity, it can reflect the true meaning of what marriage is all about. 
there is an obligation to smile at it. <laughs> marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and the willingness to accept each other for who they are. Marriage means making a commitment to developing cooperation, friendship and mutual respect. It calls for honesty, patience and of course humour. Marriage is where each partner cares for the other and supports them in all that they do. It demands courage, the courage to be open, the courage to, so, to grow and change, and the courage to sort out together the tasks of everyday living. Marriage means both closeness and distance. Closeness of a couple going together, and yet enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring, and above all, best friend. And it's in, in this spirit that Emma and Colin wish to affirm their relationship with this marriage. For marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So, Stuart, I ask of you, do you give Emma in marriage to God? Not I do, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you know no lawful reason why you should not be married to one another. But before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows of marriage which you are about to make. Custom dictates it's the gentleman first. So I'll call I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I call him William Clues. Why I call him William Clues. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony to Emma Louise Swales. Emma Louise Swales. It's as simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Why I, Emma Louise Swales. Why I, Emma Louise Swales. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Colin William Clues. Colin William Clues. I'm now going to ask you both to make a pledge and a commitment to one another. So please just turn and face one another smiling. Hold hands. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you first, Colin, in the presence of your friends and relatives gathered here today, will you take Emma to be your wife? Will you love, support and comfort her through life's sorrows? Will you celebrate and smile together through the many good times we all hope you'll share? And will you remain true to Emma for the rest of your lives together? I will. <laughs> <laughs> and to you, Emma. Will you in turn take Colin to be your husband? Will you love, support and comfort him through life's sorrows? Will you celebrate and smile together through the good times? And will you remain true to Colin? Rest of your lives together. Amen. I'm now going to ask you both to seal that commitment by exchanging wedding rings. So, Tim, please, if you kindly step forward, and if you could hand the first ring to Colin. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. Ten plays with you, Matt. I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And in return, I give you this ring. And in return, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. The rings you've just exchanged are, of course, the traditional seal to your marriage vows, a sign of unconditional and everlasting love. They're an outward sign to everyone and a constant reminder to you both of the promises you make with one another today. They have no beginning and no end, and together represent love, strength and continuity. So we come to the part now where you say those all-important words that form your legal contract, 
as I explained at the beginning, they've chosen to have their own vows. So Colin first, your, your turn. Thanks for always believing in me. Matt's what my idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know the difference between tired and my tired. And just let me be. If you buy my side, I feel at peace. I promise to return the one that you put in my heart by always cuddling you when you come. <laughs> to never stop trying to make you smile, I'll be there for you no matter what. Your smile is my morning sunrise. It brings warmth to my soul. You set me free. I love you with all my heart. All I ever will be. So I call upon. So I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I call him. That I, to witness that I call him. Do take thee, Emma. I do take thee, Emma. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. So, Thank you for supporting me no matter what. For knowing me better than I know myself and believing in me when I don't. Thank you for loving, looking after me. Loving me and making me feel safe. Thank you for knowing how to make me laugh when I really want to cry. For the cuddles that let me know that we can do anything as long as we're side by side. So I call upon. So I call upon these. <laughs> <laughs> My wife tells me that enthusiasm compensation. So I call upon. So I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I am. To witness that I, Emma, do take thee, Colin, do take thee, Colin, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. You've both made the declarations required by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with one another in the presence of the family and friends you've chosen to surround yourself with today. This has been symbolised by the giving and receiving of rings. It's the start of a new life for you both and many more cuddles, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> we all hope the feelings you have for one another will deepen and grow ever stronger in the years to come. <clears throat> We're about to sign the register now. This is the point where I always ask the guests just to consider what the true meaning of marriage is all about, so that when you wish the couple all the very best for the future afterwards, you do it with the truth and sincerity I mentioned right at the very beginning. It just remains for me to offer my own good wishes to you both. Have a long and happy life together. I can't stop you from kissing her much longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted to tell you, husband and wife. place to play You said that you've never been But all the things that you've seen Will slowly fade away So I start a revolution from my bed You said the brains I had went to my head Step outside, summer times in bloom. Stand up beside the fireplace. Take that look from off your face. You ain't ever gonna burn my heart out. And so. If it's not our day, please don't put your life in the hands of a rock and roll band. That's my speech over now. <laughs> First thing I would like to do is to thank you all for coming. Join me.
very common special day. Some of you have come from near, some from far, and some from Bugnus Round Corner. I'm glad to let you out, Gladys. <laughs> I know it means a lot to Colin and Emma to have you all here today on their special day. And we hope you all enjoy yourselves with us. <laughs> Page two. <laughs> I'm not going to make a long boring speech. Where's page one? No, but instead, I'm just going to say a few words off the cuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> gone now, babe. Page three. <laughs> Usually, people have a book as to how long the speeches will last. But I understand that today, some of you have a book on how long it's going to take me. <laughs> Bad news, boys. I cried when I wrote the speech. <laughs> As father of the bride, it's my pleasure to be speaking to you today. I've been given all sorts of advice on what to say and what not to say from my lovely wife. But it's been 35 years since I was allowed to say anything <laughs> without being disagreed with. Laugh at or ignore. So I'm going to make the most of today. <laughs> today is definitely one of the proudest, proudest days of my life to accompany our lovely, beautiful daughter. I'm sure you'll all agree she looks absolutely stunning. are beautiful. Where do ugly wives come from? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Emma gets a good one from her mother and not from me. <laughs> <laughs> now she's all grown up and flying the nest and tying the knot with Colin. Hopefully around his neck. <laughs> oh, so after. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I won't make to say that bit. And don't forget, Colin, if it comes to it, just remember how many plays I shot last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> May I also take this opportunity to thank the bridesmaids and just to say how beautiful they looked. I'm sure you all agree. Yeah. Yay. When Colin asked me for my daughter's hand in marriage, I was really impressed and pleased that he kept a tradition. And, if, and I said, yes, of course, you can have her hand. As long as it's a hand that's been in my back pocket for the last 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Once Colin had popped the question, Emma's Christmas gift to me and Colin was to have a tailor-made a shirt made, a shirt tailor made. And we sent us off to the tailor to both be measured. I think it was so I could check that Colin was having his made out of husband material. <laughs> and I think you'll all agree he did. Yeah. There's something you should know about Emma. She's never settled for second best. Not at school, not at work, and definitely relationships and that's why Jeanette and I were so surprised when she accepted the <laughs> <laughs> But then, in all seriousness, Colin is a great guy and obviously loves our daughter very much. And both Jeanette and I are delighted. Emma chose Colin and Eva to be <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. To be members of our family. So I've only got 52 pages, you don't want to move on. Taxis are booked at midnight. Oh, right, yes. I would want to say a few embarrassing things about Emma. That she's been the perfect daughter. Emma, 
be spelled perfect wrong. <laughs> and she knows as many, if not more, embarrassing things about me and her mother than we know about her. <laughs> so we've got to to do that bit. <laughs> Last week, Colin asked me how long me and Emma's mum had been married. Nearly 35 years, as I replied. What's the secret of marriage, of a long and happy marriage? He asked. No secret, I replied. Just a good set of earplugs and a pair of running shoes. <laughs> and that's just for Jeanette. <laughs> there are two things we as better I remember that I'm just taking a deep breath. <laughs> There are two things we as parents try to give our children. The first is roots for the family. We tried to pound them off with a tree, but you won't have none of it. The second is wings to fly in the nest. She won't drink Red Bull. Well, only if it had vodka in it. But Emma, it's time to fly in the nest. Put your own roots down with Colin and Eva. But then uh, remember, your mother and I will always love you. We're proud of you, and yours, Collins, and Eva's roots will always be entwined with ours. So I did well. Let's get down here. I haven't got yet. <laughs> According to the book called The Idiot's Guide to Wedding Speeches, now is the time to give our newlyweds advice on marriage. Um, probably not, not the best person to do this. But here goes three bits of advice. Number one, if you have an argument, do the washing up. I've never heard of a man being shot while standing at the sink. <laughs> Number two, you never go to bed on an argument. Stay up all night. <laughs> and number three, the answer is yes. Now, what's the question? <laughs> I don't think Colin and Eva, Colin and Emma, sorry, <laughs> we're going to need our advice. One thing I would say is choose the right person for the right reasons. And I think Colin and Emma have done just that. Oh, oh. there you go. Use this toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> So, here's to the past and all that you've learned together. Here's to the present. Speaking of presents, I don't know who bought Emma and Colin one of them love, but could you please make sure you give them the other one on the first anniversary? <laughs> and here's to the future. May they be blessed with happiness that grows, with love that lasts forever. And may all their hopes and dreams come true. And last, but by no means least, I would like to welcome Colin and Eva to our family. Maybe someone thinks they've drawn the short straw. I don't mind having a short straw, as long as it's in a McCabin coat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, joining families does have its benefits. I've been told I've got a new drinking buddy in Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> so mine's a Macadian cook, and if you're paying, I'm going to have a double. <laughs> <laughs> so please be upstanding for the bride and groom. Mr. and Mrs. Blues. I can type my speech, so it's not 15 pages long. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Stu for those kind words. As many of you will know, I like to keep quiet and keep my opinions to myself. Therefore, <laughs> when my beautiful wife is no doubt nervous about me standing here in front of you all, making a speech that she has not vetted. <laughs> so, my beautiful wife, it feels good to call you that. I shall keep this speech petite in length and perfectly formed like you. But before I continue, over the next few minutes there will be two toasts. 
So please make sure that you all keep your glasses charged and try not to drink it all in one go. This means you won. <laughs> I'd like to say. Task <laughs> gone already. I'd like to say a big thank you to both Jeanette and Stuart for their love and support. You've made me feel like part of the family, and I've never really had a chance to say thank you properly. So thank you. This includes you, Andy, wherever you're hiding. Oh, it's up there. As brothers yeah, yeah. go, you're great. You come with a great collection of cars, toys, and you're a good welder. <laughs> So, Stuart and Jeanette, thank you for raising a beautiful, intelligent, and if not at times, willful daughter. <laughs> Jeanette, I'd like to make a special thank you to you for teaching your daughter, throughout her upbringing, the skills required to work with your partner without killing them. <laughs> for this, I'm very grateful to you. And as of course, both of you for letting me have a hand in marriage. I can tell you that happiness is so important to me, and I promise to always love her and be there for her, no matter what. Good man. I can't let this opportunity go behind without thanking my mum and dad also for their love and support over the years and for welcoming Emma to the Clues family. My mum and dad have helped me in many ways. You've seen me through thick and thin, perhaps me up when I broke myself, sat with me in hospital on many occasions, and always sent me back into the world with the belief that I can. You have always been there for me and I hope I feel you proud. I couldn't have really asked that mum and dad. Thank you for both of what you've done. Now, to both of our parents, thank you for helping with today and in creating both of us. You've got a lot to bloody answer for. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please, I'd like to raise a toast to mums and dads. <laughs> mums and dads. <laughs> make you aware of something before I hand you over to it. And as Eva has just pointed out, Tim is a fully fledged and real life banker. So <laughs> and spending that bloody money at every opportunity. So Tim, in short, sure, just remember that we can't trust anything a banker says. They always embellish, steal our money and expect a bonus for doing that. So, without expecting any truth or sense happening, I'll hand you over to him. Tim, what do you want? <laughs> You've also got to remember that this is a lad who once got caught Del Boy, so... <laughs> once? <laughs> Only once. Right. Maybe many a time. Uh, he may have kept things to himself. Um, but... Um, well, I don't have top two speech if I have those. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get out of the building, so I'm stuck with this. Did <laughs> <laughs> you feel like that, Eva? Do you want to say Get on with it, Tim. No, seriously, Get on with it. Emma, I'm sorry, but Eva is uh, text president here. Well, as many of you probably don't know, my name's Tim. I'm the best man, apparently. Um, laughing a little at certain things, but <laughs> managed to get through to it just in the end. Um, as Colin said, we've known each other a long time, going back to school. Uh, and all I can say is I'm honoured that he's asked me to be his best man today. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else who uh, I've been closer to in my life outside my family. Uh, please, no laughing. <laughs> it's not the time for laughter. You ready? <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to celebrate this day for Emma and Colin. I'm sure they're happy to see so many well wishes here today. Um, and I do apologise if I choke a little bit or stutter a little bit because I'm not exactly great at public speaking. Um, we'll go, Stuart. <laughs> no more mojitos for you. Probably. Jeanette, make sure you don't have any more. If you have any more, Colin's going to be on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of that. Um, of course, we can't forget the uh, bridesmaids. And as has been said before, they do look stunning today. But obviously, we be surpassed by Emma. We look truly stunning and beautiful. So. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Jeanette and Stuart.
up uh, for his parents and Mike and Janet call his parents for helping to put on this day. But without any of these four, today would never have happened. So again, please, thank you. Thank you. I also want to make a uh, quick word for the uh, two ushers, Chris, Christian and uh, Andrew. Uh, I don't think anyone's uh, seen them point any better. I think they've been working all week on that. <laughs> so, and there was a Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth, didn't they do well?
Just forget the world 